Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the bets of UFC 306. Before we get into the UFC bets, I have a Thursday night prop for the Bills vs. Dolphins. Here is what it looks like. I really, really like Tua uh, over 250 yards. Josh Allen 250 over uh, Jalen Waddle over 64 and a half yards, Shaq uh, Shalil Shakir over three and a half receptions, and Dalton Kincaid under four and a half receptions. That's a plus 14.46. You put five dollars, you win 72. You put 10, you win 144, and then some. Those are my picks for the NFL's Bills versus Dolphins game. Now, let's look at the UFC. All right, for the UFC betting, we have, as, as we look at it, okay, we have Raul Rosas Jr. money line at minus 850. Obviously, um, actually, actually, I would change that, but uh, on the prelims, um, it, there is no, there's nothing else. So honestly, you probably gonna take that off. That's be real. I think Roses wins. I actually think he submits them, um, but the, it, minus 850 doesn't really help anything. But anyways, uh, Manuel Torres, Ignacio Baja Mendez, under one and a half rounds. Manuel Torres is an absolute monster. I mean, Baja Mendez in his own, yeah, Manuel Torres, like I said, the guy has 15 wins and 14 finishes, and he also has 14 finishes in the first round. Ignacio Baja Mendez also has 11 finishes, 10 TKO or KO wins, 7 in the first, 2 in the second, and 1 in the third. Uh, under 1.5 for this one, I really, really like. Norman Dana, Dumont by KO or TKO or on points, plus 120. You're kind of just riding the possibility on a finish. But points is probably what happens. I just like the odds at plus 120. I think those are really good. Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez at minus 120. Will the fight go the distance? I don't think so. Daniel Zahuber, Estimate Rebovics. I don't think that fight goes the distance. I'm surprised it's at plus 124. These guys are finishers. Ronaldo Rodriguez by KO or submission. You're just kind of banking on him getting a finish against Osborne, who has been finished in every single one of his losses. I believe he hasn't been to a decision. It is all finishes in the UFC. Let's look. Yep, five finishes in the UFC, five losses in the UFC, three submissions. I like the submission, but just the double chance of a KO or submission against Ode Osborne, I really like for uh, Ronaldo Rodriguez. Under four and a half rounds for Grasso Shevchenko. I think the uh, Grasso submission came in the fourth round. I think Shevchenko beats her, but if she gets over... Um, over commits on anything, she could get finished. So I really, really like this four and a, under four and a half at plus 162. And then for the easiest bet for me, honestly, is Sean O'Malley round one, two, or three. Alternate bet round betting five rounds plus 220. I think he flatlines Marab to follow really. I think Marab's takedown entries are absolute dog water. They're so fucking bad. It's ridiculous. Sorry for the cussing for those under the age of 18. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really like Sean O'Malley. I think he destroys Marab. People keep talking about Sean O'Malley getting tired. The only fight he's ever gotten tired on in is the Petr Jan fight. Petr Jan had some really, really good entries with his takedowns, much better than Marab does, but he doesn't have the pace or the cardio to keep up with Marab. Obviously, that's why Jan lost that one. Um, I don't think that just because he lost to Marab, it takes that away. I just, I just think, Marab's takedown entries are absolute terrible. Can he? He's very, very good if he gets when he gets fighters' backs. Um, I think Sean will have the ability to stand up. But the the problem with Marab's style is you can't afford to get hurt to get cracked by Sean O'Malley. You can't. If 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 Sean O'Malley lands the knee that he landed against Cheeto with Marab, Marab has zero head movement, just marches forward. There's nothing there. If Sean can land that same knee that he did against Cheeto, Marab is going down and Sean O'Malley's walking out of UFC 306 and still UFC champion. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you're picking. Peace.